We're not allowed to punch back anymore. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'm Eric Greitens, Navy SEAL, and today we're going rhino hunting. The rhino feeds on corruption and is marked by the stripes of cowardice. Now today we face the greatest danger we have ever faced. The militant left wing in our country has become the enemy within. Let's have trial by combat. Today is the day American patriots start taking down names and kicking ass. The real world consequences of all that, of that violent rhetoric. We see it all around us. They trace back to only one party. It's only one political movement. And really, only one man. <laughs> Madam Speaker, tear down this wall. Join the MAGA crew, get a rhino hunting permit. There's no bagging limit, no tagging limit, and it doesn't expire until we save our country. In 2022, I'm going to blow away the Democrat socialist agenda. As we've seen over and over again since 2020, this is not an aberration. It's now a philosophy for the right and MAGA Republicans. The firm belief that it's just not possible for them to lose, whether it's by 50 points or 5 million votes, backed by a threat of violence. Now, to be clear, not all Republicans who lose will shoot you, but some have no qualms implying they will in their political ads. It's become the norm on the Republican side. Photo ops with guns, pose with your entire family with rifles, even in front of your Christmas tree. And with it, an implied message that if Republicans don't get what they want, winning, they're prepared to use them. And those implied threats of violence come amid a chilling trend of real world political violence. It's been barely six months since Paul Pelosi, husband of former Speaker Nancy, was attacked with a hammer by an assailant looking for the speaker. A Florida man is in prison for threatening to behead Pelosi, as well as Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. A man was arrested after he showed up with a gun at the home of Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal. And Republican Senator Susan Collins told the New York Times last year that she wouldn't be surprised if a member of either chamber were killed. It's not that there's never violence coming from the left. The 2017 congressional baseball game shooting that injured Republican Majority Leader Steve Scalise is an example. But for Republicans, the implied violence is baked into their message. In fact, just a few weeks ago, Marjorie Taylor Greene said that if she and Steve Bannon had planned January 6th, they would have been armed and won. The embrace of political violence is now almost a religion an overt form of stochastic terrorism, of political and physical thuggery inside the no longer grand old party. This is if you don't win, take action to seize power anyway, by any means necessary. Fight it in court, go after election officials, overthrow the government, storm the Capitol. An entitlement to rule with devastating consequences, even with Donald Trump in the rearview mirror.